Four, three, two, one. This era, that's her name, right? Versus this Thames thing. I mean, I kind of found the whole that, that whole P a bit distasteful from their own. You know, very clearly that she sounded like Thames. Yeah. Um, when we post all of that, I see them putting tweets out there going, well, she's been putting tweets out there that, oh, apparently she looks like Thames. Her fans are saying she looks like Thames. So she put two pictures of her Twitter side by side. And I thought I'd get out super rise. <laughs> but I also feel like Thames is not even going to acknowledge her rightfully so. But she's very talented. I was watching her interview a couple of days ago and apparently she she graduated uni at 14. So she's like a genius. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's your take on, on her coming out with this sound? And does that make you look at Maven funny or do you know what I mean? What's your take on it? Um, you know, Maven have always been, they always know who's next because they have, um, I think they, they definitely have like over 20 artists signed. But currently, we don't we only know about probably eight or nine. There are a lot of mm. people in the writing camp and all that in their studios, you know. Um, and a lot of them are young as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I feel like she's very good for sure. The EP is very solid. I listened to it about three times. She does have certain pockets and certain songs where it definitely reminds me of Thames, like hands down. And that's what should really be happening. Like Thames has opened a door for this type of sound for sure. And someone else is just doing something similar, definitely. But um, Tim's definitely not going to respond. I don't think, I feel like as long as this baby is not being disrespectful, we'll be fine. But it also be, it's also kind of interesting just seeing this happen in the female world. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Usually it's always this rapper trying to sound like this rapper or this guy stealing punchlines. But now nah, I just like how, okay, there's a new girl who sounds like Tim's. Tim's will now be forced to try and create something new. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I like that whole I like that whole dynamic. Um the girl definitely has a very bright future, you know, very pretty, stylish, good voice, very good voice, well produced songs. Yeah, I wish her nothing but the best, but she definitely reminds me of Thames for sure. And I just hope I hope um with her they would have to throw her face out a lot more because if they just drop audios, things will get a bit tricky. Yeah. Things will get a bit tricky. There was a time that I remember when I first started listening to like um, street like hip hop in Nige, where I didn't know anyone's name. So like years ago, but I used to think like reminisce sound like CDQ. This one sounds but also I started seeing their videos, I started knowing who was so. Yeah. Um if they're trying to break out on some mass market type vibe, a lot of people kind of like, ah, this is a new term song, I don't know that it's this girl. So <laughs> that could definitely happen, man, for sure. If that if that was you, how would you feel? Someone just comes and literally just not necessarily bites your style, but just has a lot of your cadence. Yeah, exactly. It's not even about biting style. Yep, just that cadence. Ah, I don't know, man. How to write certain words? How she sings it? You know, Tim has oh, that. Flat sure. Yep. Man, you want that one? She has that flat tone. Very, very, very similar. How do you? How do you? How do you feel? And how do you react? Man, that's a tough one, man. I mean, I have to DM the cat like she relax. <laughs> <laughs> Would you actually? Nah, nah, nah. I think I just I don't even know actually, but I, I wouldn't want to work with the with the rapper. And would that affect your relationship with the label? Because what if like just in you know, hypothetically speaking, yeah. imagine if Muiwa had like seen them jazzy a couple months back children so you greeted him paid his respects and then even said oh let's even play some of our new jams yep 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 that's like a collab with maybe Rema or one yeah. of the artists or whatever and then this comes out months later yeah I'll be pissed from afar without doing that how does that now affect your relationship with the guys in that camp when they say they want to work with you like I said I will not I won't work with them at all at all at all, because the new artist that has all the focus right now that you guys are pushing sounds exactly like my own artist. I'm not going to try and work with you guys on anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nothing. So it's a bit. I one thing I do like though is how she sounds like where we come from. 
What do you so mean? Open the door even more for someone that schooled abroad or someone who's exposed or someone who's smart or whatever, went to school. And someone who's just not making music for the streets, not making music for the clubs, really. Or do you understand what I'm saying? I like how major people like Jazzy Dem are like breaking these type of artists. It's dope to see because if her first single was like on some over dancey beats produced by Don Jazzy, I'd be like, ah, do you get what I'm saying? But yeah. I like how we don't even know she's affiliated with Jazzy. I love that. Mm. I love that. And I feel like that's where the future of Nigerian music is like going to. A lot of all these 18, 19, 20 year olds, that's what they're on right now, bro. They're all just sounding crisp. All just speaking good English and just sounding good, just good music. You would not even think they're Nigerian. I'm telling you. Even um, one of my little family friends, Dam Lola, I can't really, she dropped a song. One of her other friends, and like these are like new next gen people on Instagram and stuff. And I listened to their song couple, like two days ago, and it's hard. And everybody just giving them just like. When we were 17, 18, 19, too, man, we were making music that was fire for our time. And these people are doing it now for their own time. Yeah. And they are, better than, they are better than how we did it. Wow. This guy, they know their beat selection is crazy. They're not jumping. They're not doing freestyle. They're making actual songs. Structure, everything is there. They are putting it on. And this is this girl. This is her first song ever. I played it on Tidal. <laughs> if 10,000 people do the same thing as me, that is money going to her pockets. That's something we didn't have or we didn't even know about. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and yeah, man, this this next gen, they are very dangerous. So. And this this um Jazzy's artist she's 18. Don't play with this late teens, don't play with them. <laughs> just a bunch. From videography, fashion, music, all oh, just all oh, just giving them anyhow creative. All these big influencers, all people that you know. Red Bulls giving them 200k to post this. All these YouTubers getting 10,000 views. They're all young people. All a lot of them too are homegrowns. But guys, trust me, they're just too exposed, man. They're just too exposed, man. It's power of this internet, social media. They understand it very well. They understand TikTok. All these challenges. Yeah, they have. They, well, they have to because that's what they grow up on. That's what they grow up on. That's what I'm just saying. Like everything is just working in their favor, bro. It is ridiculous. Yeah, I feel like a dinosaur sometimes. <laughs> this is me that I feel like I'm up to date. Like, guy, yeah, trust me, you can't can never keep up with these guys, man. They guy, they are actually not gone. <laughs> they are gone. Man. Looks like we might have to push Lalu to compete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, we have to go to LA, man. Yeah, and give them one uh, drama school, bro, because that's where it is. So I'm, I'm really happy that entertainment now is just not frowned upon again, man. Yeah. Facts. It was fronted on for too long. For too, too long. I mean, bro, like for too long. Like now, you could just be respected no matter what you're contributing to us. Even OAPs. They just have working two hours every week on a radio station. They love their job. They are breaking artists. They are conducting good interviews and they're happy. Facts. Just that YouTubers, they have their camera putting their thing. Look at someone like Falake every other day. New TikTok video. New, just doing their thing, man. Like, I love it. Love it, but I feel, I feel like when it comes to um this whole like them biting teams and stuff yeah. like that, I feel like at the end of the day, the game is gonna have biters, haters, swagger jackers, oh, and I feel like for her, she should just she should just take it as you know as inspiration, showing her she's actually doing something crazy. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's not it's not something like someone trying to like you know throw out of our like of her pedestal or of her lane. Like, she's just taking it out. Yeah, that's cool. Like, shout out to her. Because if you truly believe in your art, your creativity, that would never, ever bother you. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But she's biting. That's so yeah. That's, no, that, 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 I'm, I know she's biting, but I'm saying, like, that shouldn't bother her, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Bother her. Because, if, because if, if you truly believe in what you do, you know that you... Like, for example, like, when when... Uh, I don't want to use Drake. Let's say, but okay, like for example, let's say we we'll use Drake. We we'll use Drake. Let's say when they used to, Drake used to say, "Um, oh uh, yeah, it's Drake featuring Drake." Like when you are so into, when you actually believe in your craft and stuff, you be your your mindset should be more of, "I can't wait to show them what's next," rather than, "Damn man, she might take my OP." Do you know what I'm trying to say? And I feel like that's when. She just be like, yeah, that's cool. Like, kudos to her. Like, 
I'm glad she she, she like even like make it as a, like a joke like wow I'm even glad she listens to me I just, that kind of vibe. No, of course Thames hasn't responded to it, and of course, but it's just like Thames herself is fresh off the block. As by in terms of when I say fresh off the block, I mean that's it's always gonna happen. It's always gonna happen. First EP, three videos out. She's leveling up. So for yeah. a for a major, yeah, there were times, yeah, there were times when Pop Smoke came out, and then um Fabio Foreign came out as well, and once this guy came, you get fresh. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. But it's always going to happen. Yankee is a bit different because of how they're structured. This is like she's fresh off, Tim is fresh off baby EP, three or four videos out, about to ascend into her it's, next. It's batch. the same thing as, as how Pop Smoke came out. True, true, true. And this is a label that has the history of coming through with brand new acts. So, what it is is for this, if it was anybody of it was. Another check down the road, yes, fair. But mm-hmm. for a level that is, this is the same level that brought us Rema. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they have the credibility of bringing us new acts with new sounds. For them mm-hmm. to do this and go and bite somebody that's on her way up. So that what? You can now pump all your money into this, try and clash with her, and then now do a Travis Savvy. Carry on. Mm-hmm. At, 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 at the end of the day, that's always going to happen because that's how the game is. You can never... You can't, you can't no, stop, no, like I said. No, no, you can't say always going to happen because nobody it, tries. It, 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 most of the time, most of the time, most likely happens. They most try. of the time. When Maven was doing that, he was savage. There was no, till today, there's nobody coming out trying to be to a savage. Like I always no, say different times, different times, different, like, different energies, different parts. You know what I'm saying? Nobody so, to be, yeah, me, like, hold up. There was nobody that tried to be Lola Ray. There's nobody that tried to be a fresh up me as well. In Niola, what did you say? Yeah, no one tried to be Niola. No one tried to be Tenny. No one tried to be every every female that has come out. That is down to Tenny. Look at Tenny. No, Tenny. Simi, no one is still like Simi. Everybody's actually in their own lane. So for females, it's been positive for, for each sure. one. Which is why fresh said maybe this is the first time that there might be a little bit of friction or whatever. But females yeah, this is have- first time. And so what I'm saying is for a major label and then, to girl rising up and just come and just do side by side, it's not an accident. It was thought. Yeah, because at the end of the day, like the way they look at the industry in music is the same way they look at the technological industry. They have to give you something that is tried and tested that they know will work. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I agree. I'm it, just saying it's distasteful from their own end. It, yeah, fair enough. But like, I, that's what I'm trying to say. It probably is the state of fact. Same way, like everyone to say, ah, oh, Travis is. But to me personally, when you when you believe in your own craft, like I don't know when people are saying Rema, like and whiskey, like oh, do you remember those times when I was saying Rema and whiskey? Oh, they sound like Rema. Rema is about to take over. Was then whiskey comes back with Made in Lagos with some new yeah. kind of vibe. Do you know what I'm trying to say? That's what that. should inspire. That, that's yeah. what should inspire you to do much better. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But but they're different. They they like from different eras. Different. I, I know it's it's kind of different, but that but that's the analogy I'm trying to pitch. Like that should make you want to be better. Like okay, you think oh you think you've gotten my sound figured out, right? No. I right, take this. Do you know what I'm trying to say? From her own perspective, of course. From Tim's perspective, she would, she would look at it and ideally she would want to level up. She should level up. She should. But I know, but it's, it is it is annoying. It's annoying. Like. I'm, that guy, there's a amount of times where most like an artist comes up with something that is, was it not um, Jim Jones that said that Lil Wayne took his whole make it rain chorus or whatever? That's a painful for yourself, but for yeah, it's, it's painful, guy. You want, guy, you want to really you want to mess someone up because they literally took something you probably been cooking up in the basement for like two, three months. You know what I'm saying? It's painful, and then the guy, the guy yeah. do it wrong, and that's the worst part. It's painful, but it's gonna happen. Like not everyone has the same like mindset as everyone else. People might like that. People might even think they're doing it differently, but maybe to the public, it's the same thing. You know what I'm trying to say? So like, God, you get, she, how old is the person? She's like 18, right? Yeah. I don't yeah, care. She's, she's, she's still finding her own sound and everything. Oh, you know no, 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 no. I don't blame her. You don't look at mm-hmm. her, you don't look at my EP, watch her videos, and think she's finding her own sound. I don't blame her. I blame... You feel like that's the sound they're giving her. 
I blame yeah, come on, man. You don't even start to blame him. You know what I'm saying? I blame those people that are sat in the rooms with her. And I just I just think from their own experience and what they have brought to the game, I just feel like it was a bit mm, uh, you didn't have to. That's so, all do, do you know, so do you know what's also so funny? Like it's a shock you like she can do this now, and then the next single she'll sound like Amare. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Because that, that, that's what some artists, there's some artists that sound like, that are like chameleons, they sound like different people. As, as, as they have, it's crazy, guy. It's crazy. Have you seen OT Genesis' last song? Nah. Yeah, this guy sounded like Young Thug, bro. I was, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, guys. Maybe the clown, so. That was actually a lot. Oh, my God. Rolling, man. So, uh, so I feel like we should, we should give her, like, like this year to see where yeah. her sound. I won't give her anything. You know me, how I talk about replicas. I don't got anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got anything. But, yeah, that's about that. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Before we go, anyone listening, trying to watch any shows, let me just put you on some, some cool shit. Um, Godless was dope. I just finished Ozark, that was fire. Um, Glamorous Ladies of Wrestling, I saw that ages ago. You want to watch that? Voices of Fire on Netflix, A1 stuff. Um, and currently, a new documentary out called Hip Hop Uncovered, and they talk about um, um, Deb, um, who's Waka Flocka's mom, manager who put on Nicki Minaj, Gucci Mane. Um, another guy called Haitian Jack, and a bunch of you know old school hip hop legends that that you know that were deep in the streets. Trick, trick, all these other guys. So go check that one out. Episode one's out. Uh, if you watch Grownish, yeah, I'm on that right now. Season three. Mm-hmm. That's about it. You know what it is. Ep three, numero tres. Yes. Fire yes. Three. Is it gas or trash? Nick. <laughs> Another episode in the can. OAF. Opinions ain't facts. You know the name. <laughs> Spotify. Deezer. <laughs> All streaming platforms. Out now. Apple Music. <laughs> <laughs> Title. <laughs>